Hey everyone, uh, today I'm going to walk you through the behavior analytics by Moengage. So the Moengage's uh, behavior analytics provides an insights into how your users interact with your platform. And it also helps you to, um, you know, deeply analyze your users. Uh, you can slice and dice the customer data to understand what your users are doing on your platform and what are the things they are not doing. What are the things they are liking? What are the things they are not liking? Uh, what are the different source of acquisition they are coming from? And what are the platforms they're using? Even what are the app versions they are using? And this particular behavior analytics uh, will be helping you in terms of answering some of the specific engagement metrics related questions such as what exactly is the count of your monthly active user or daily active user? Uh, what are the uh, user based from different segments? And what is the revenue from uh, different channels that you're getting, right? So now let's uh, quickly check that uh, how exactly you can use behavior uh, platform and what are the different types of analysis you can perform. So getting started with, uh, you know, adding any specific event. So in behavior, you can easily do an event level comparison, whether I want to see that, uh, hey, uh, who are the users uh, uh, who have received notification on Android, or maybe I can uh, club the another sort of event as well into the same uh, event selection. And I can see that users who have received a uh, notification on Android or maybe on iOS. So let's say that I have selected two events, users received a uh, notification on Android and notification received iOS. Now simply I can select the other event that might be app opens and furthermore another event that might be uh, order successful. And uh, I have, I'm trying to do this particular user for uh, analysis for all the users and the analysis type is total events. So in behavior, you are, you will be uh, able to perform seven different types of analysis. Whether the first analysis is total event, which gives you the count of number of times the selected events have been executed. So for all these three event sets, A, B, and C, I am trying to do this, uh, execute this analysis for last seven days. And when I hit apply, I'll be seeing a, a trend of how exactly have been these three uh, event counts for last uh, seven days. So here, uh, as a first default result, I'll be seeing a line chart, which will be giving me the count of, uh, you know, total event count for each day. So for example, on 13th of, uh, 13th of March, I'm, I'm seeing 64,777 as a total count for notification receiving on Android and iOS. And similarly, I'm seeing on 20th of March, uh, the total events of uh, order successful has been 1,851. Now you can uh, visualize this particular analysis based on hourly, weekly, and monthly granularity. You can change the mode that you want to visualize this particular analysis in. You can also select uh, area chart, bar chart, column chart, and pie chart. So let's say that we are trying to see this visualization again in column chart. You will be seeing the total count for uh, event A, B, and C here. Now, one of the major functionalities of uh, behavior module is you can pin these uh, charts easily by clicking on pin to dashboard to any existing custom dashboard or you can directly create a new custom dashboard uh, on our platform and pin these uh, charts as well and similarly you you'll be able to pin these behavior tables as well now another functionality is uh, actionable analytics so on any data point on the charts if you click you'll be able to uh, create a uh, specific dynamic or static segment for these users. So let's say that I am trying to create a segment one as a segment. And when I uh, check this box, I can directly create a campaign for uh, any specific channel that I'm selecting and any specific delivery type that I'm selecting. I can uh, uh, make a selection of those easily. And just right by one click, I can uh, be redirected to the campaign page and I can easily create campaigns for these specific users. So this is the feature where um, users from analyze module, um, you know, gets uh, transferred into the engage module and we offer a complete insights led engagement uh, offering on MoEngage platform. Now let's uh, see what more you could do on the event selection. So now let's say that I have uh, selected app site open. So this has been a very fair uh, or basic event selection, but now I want to get closure to any specific uh, 
attribute. So I can easily make a selection of these, uh, you know, by clicking on attribute and I can filter my event based on the app version or any of the event attributes that you can see OH version platform. So let's say that I'm trying to select the platform is maybe Android. And now furthermore, I want to, even in Android, I want to select the app version is something else. Or maybe if I want to do the multiple selection, I can just check into app version is in the following and I can do the multiple selection of these apps as well. So I can get closer to any specific app version. Now, maybe I want to uh, split this analysis into the different even attribute. So that could be easily done if I'm clicking on split by and I'm just selecting any, uh, let's say that I'm trying to select the device or maybe uh, the OS version. And once I hit apply, I'll be, my analysis will be splitted based on the different platform and the different OS versions that are uh, combined. So here, if you would see, uh, I am getting the whole uh, analysis splitted into the different uh, uh, platforms and different OS versions. So let's look at the table for even a better visibility. I'm, I'm trying to see my event is app site open and my split value is platform uh, and OS version as a specific OS. So now uh, you can either download these table and you can do your own uh, custom analysis as well, or you can transpose these table based on, uh, you know, a new view that you want to prefer to, you know, look at these tables. So these are some of the sample, uh, you know, I, I can say uh, customizations that you can do. Now talking about the other analysis, uh, if you choose the unique users, you will be seeing who are the users actually, uh, you know, who are executing these uh, events and you'll be getting of the count of these unique users just by selecting uh, unique users option. Maybe now we are seeing that, uh, you know, th there have been 1,287 users uh, based on uh, the platform Android and OS version 31 who have opened the app on 13th of March. So this, this, this is a simple analysis that uh, you could do. Now talking about the furthermore analysis that how exactly you can filter those users or what could be the segmentation capabilities that you could see uh, that is integrated into analytics. Now, as you can see, I was doing this analysis for all the users till now, but now if I'm trying to select uh, the filter users, I'll be able to select these users based on the specific user properties. So those user properties will be aligned to user's life cycle, mode of acquisition, reachability, localization, or maybe the device data and furthermore. Similarly, I can um, customize this analysis based on the user behavior affinity, or maybe I can select any of the created custom segment uh, to do this particular analysis for. So let's say that I'm trying to uh, check the user behavior and I'm trying to see the users who have executed the app opens at least once in the last three days. And when I've selected this particular user behavior and I'm just uh, clicking on apply, my behavior chart will be giving me the exact data that, hey, who are the users who have opened my app uh, in last three days at least once. And if you would be seeing a spike here, uh, that is due to the uh, duration that we have selected is mainly last three days and we want to focus uh, around the data there. So this, these are the, some of the sample analysis that we could do. Uh, these are the examples, how exactly you can filter your events or maybe you can filter your users. Now let's look at what are the deeper analysis uh, that could be done on uh, behavior and how exactly we could execute all those uh, levels of analysis. So getting started uh, with uh, unique sessions. So the unique sessions are gonna give you the count of the important sessions where my conversions may have happened. And it also gives you the exact data that in how many interactions the conversion is happening. So you would be, once you hover upon the line chart, you will be seeing based on the each and every different date, what exactly have been the count of uh, unique sessions, or you, or you can say the unique sessions in which the conversions have happened on a daily basis. Now talking about uh, the next analysis type that we offer is aggregation. So uh, just looking at a simple use case where you want to identify the revenue trend uh, of users in last 30 days, right? So you can just check what exactly uh, are the different aggregation options that we offer. We offer the aggregation based on the sum, maximum amount, average, median, percentile, or even distinct count. So you can uh, select, let's say that I'm trying to select here the order successful as a sum of price 
and I I am looking to compare this particular analysis based on um, maybe the last known country where this uh, particular uh, uh, I, I can say uh, trend has been happening and I'm trying to do this trend analysis for any specific country so when I'm just selecting all these uh, actions my aggregation uh, will give me a plot where what exactly has been my sum of a price in total orders uh, and this has been occurring in last known country as United States since it is a demo data we have uh, not we don't have a sufficient data for multiple countries but you'll be seeing that how this analysis is uh, being compared based on the country that we are selecting and what exactly the count looks like on a daily basis similarly uh, once you select the aggregation distribution so this is going to give you uh, a distribution uh, pattern based on the price that what exactly has my users been spending so here if you are looking at this particular analysis based on uh, uh, the sum of price so you'll be seeing that what exactly has been my one percentile of user spending similarly what exactly has been my 50th percentile of user spending and what exactly has been my 100 100 percentile or maybe the 99th percentile of user spending so you'll be getting these results just by one click and you can create a distribution curve and you can uh, maybe uh, try and find what exactly has been the spending trend by my top users and you can also try and uh, split this particular uh, distribution by your custom bucketing as well so we offer you as being as flexible and as customizable uh, you can be based on the type of analysis or the type of calculation you, you would like to perform similar to this uh, you can also try and check what has been the total events that has been uh, executing per user so you can maybe check that let's say that uh, you know a simple use case in this that i am trying to select uh, who are the users actually who have received the notification on um, android so this is this may be uh, a case where you want to check what exactly has been my users uh, uh, performance or actions on a push campaign so let's say that my user have received a push notification on android but how many exactly users are clicking those uh, you know no notification so if you want to see you can see a total event per user and you want to uh, uh, see the execution trend here so here if, if you're comparing you will be particularly seeing that uh, that there have been uh, I, I can say 18,000, 18.2 uh, sort of total events that have been notification uh, a user has been getting, and he has been responding to uh, on a round figure like two notification out of those. Similarly, you can also try and uh, check this particular analysis based on uh, uh, you know your different aggregation type as well. Since uh, this particular aggregation type was selected as an average. Here you can just check as a maximum number of notification a user has been receiving or, uh, you know, minimum number of, use, uh, uh, you know, let's say that the notification a user has been receiving and what has been uh, user's action through it. Or maybe you can directly draw and distribution curve across it as well. And you will be able to see that, hey, what has been the trend of users, uh, uh, you know, I think uh, users reaction across receiving the notification and maybe uh, responding to the notification so if you see like your 79th percentile or like 78th percentile of user have been uh, getting 20 notifications but they have been uh, you know executing or clicking on only one notification but only your 100 percentile of users are getting uh, 1641 notification and they have been responding to 78 notification out of those so this sort of uh, analysis will allow you to check the feasibility that what exactly have been your users uh, trend in terms of uh, getting the push notifications or getting the uh, being notified through the campaigns and on how much level they are actually responding to it now talking about the last behavior option that is the attribute aggregation for user so this is one of the most important uh, or i can say the most in-depth trend analysis that is offered by behavior 
So here you will be seeing uh, two levels of aggregation calculation. As I am trying to uh, check this particular analysis for order being successful, and I'm seeing the order um, successful as a sum of price. Now I want to select the aggregation where I want to understand that what is the maximum amount of spent by a user in a specific time uh, duration, right? So like I can just uh, select the max uh, option here in aggregation type, and I'll be able to see what exactly has been my one user spending, uh, the max spending done by a user in a day. So maybe uh, this is the amount a user spent on 17th of March, that's the max amount. This is the amount user has spent on 16th of March. Similarly, in the case of OTT platform, this uh, analysis could also be uh, done to understand what is the maximum or minimum stream time of a user uh, while watching or being engaged on the platform, or what is, what is the actually average screen time of the users. So if you would see, th these are the different analysis options that we offer. And these analysis options could be used in terms of solving the use cases uh, across different industry. And we will be offering you uh, uh, more in-depth analysis and more in-depth option where you can just try and uh, the right method and get closure to what exactly your users uh, behavior you would like to find out. And through that, you can make a decision in terms of getting engaged with them, or you can save those uh, users as a custom segment and do further more analysis for them. And this particular uh, behavior uh, analytics by MoEngage, uh, you know, completes the whole vision uh, of insights-led engagement uh, by MoEngage platform. Thank you.